Today in Make and Drink, we're gonna make and drink a Smuggler's Cove original cocktail, and it's a cocktail that's not even in the book, because it's newer than the book. We'll be making Dr. Barca's Fluffy Banana. The drink was created by Smuggler's Cove bartender Dane Barca, and I have yet to see this recipe online or YouTube. The drink and its ingredients are listed on the Smuggler's Cove website, so we do know what goes into it. I did, however, as a benefit to all of you and a great sacrifice to myself, recently traveled to Smuggler's Cove with the sole purpose of trying this drink and many, many others. Now I have an odd apprehension when it comes to Smuggler's Cove where I feel strange making these drinks here. Myself and anyone else on YouTube or with the blog have no issue taking recipes from books or online sources and sharing them. There's not really anything inherently wrong with that, but there's something about Smuggler's Cove, probably a combination of the recipe not being printed in the book, my fascination with the bar and the book, and its proximity to me. But having said that, this will be the first video of a larger exploration of the Smuggler's Cove original cocktails. And for the 10th time here, go buy the book, support the bar, I really think if I was choosing just one cocktail book and only one, it would be Smuggler's Cove. There's links below to their website where you can buy it directly from them, as well as links to Amazon. Also, just a side note about cocktail recipes in general. Recipes cannot be copyrighted or trademarked. They are statements of fact. Names of cocktails, however, can be trademarked, and while rare, the most well-known examples are the tropical drinks, the dark and stormy, and the painkiller. Pusser's Rum trademarked painkiller in 1989, and the issue of the trademark came up in 2011 when they sued the painkiller bar in New York City for not only using the name, but having the audacity to serve painkillers with a rum other than Pusser's. The bar eventually changed their name to an even better name, in my opinion, the PKNY. What's funny and also very upsetting about the story is that the original painkiller cocktail was not even created by Pusser's, and it originally used a different rum. Now back to the fluffy banana. While on my recent trip, I felt uncomfortable asking about this specific recipe or peeking over the bar because it's not in the book, and I had the inclination that I would enjoy this drink and eventually be making it here. So I ordered the drink, and I loved it. When I asked the bartender about what cachaça they used, she started telling me the entire recipe, like some gift from the YouTube gods. Obviously, I wasn't going to take physical notes, but I did mentally. We had a couple of drinks, went to get dinner, came back and had a couple more drinks. And needless to say, I don't remember the recipe. Luckily for us, the ingredients are on the website and it was the first drink I had that night. I remember exactly how it tasted as well. I have pieced together some of the missing information and have been able to reconstruct this drink. For this drink, you will need Angostura bitters, lemon juice, simple syrup, coconut milk, banana liqueur, and cachaça. And while I have the exact ingredients here, I think, don't feel like you always need to run out and buy the exact ingredients. We'll be using a very specific cachaça and banana liqueur, but other brands will do well here and will give you something very close to this drink. Smuggler's Cove uses Avoa Amberana Cachaça, which is harder to find. Cachaça is something that needs its own episode here, and one day we will get to that. One of the more unique characteristics of cachaça is how it's aged. Some cachaça is unaged, while some is aged similar to rums, like in ex-bourbon barrels but cachaça often ages with unique and exotic hardwoods, like this one with Amberana wood. Also, Smuggler's Cove website description calls for just coconut, not fresh coconut, coconut milk, coconut water, or their coconut cream. It's the only drink that calls for just coconut. I don't want to presume, but it could be an oversight. Either way, I have made this drink several times using the Smuggler's Cove cream of coconut syrup, which is just one part coconut milk to one part of a two to one simple syrup. And I found that in my recipe, it's a little bit too sweet, probably because this recipe is not exact. So I'll just be using coconut milk and simple syrup separately instead. 
This drink has thrown me for a loop a few times because I've been unable to get the fluffy foam out of the tin every time. It just kind of sticks to the ice. So we want to use smaller volumes of ice here because we'll blend it all until it's dissolved. You can use a drink master here, which I've done, and it works. But I've also tested it with an immersion blender and it worked better. You can also use a regular blender as well. And I've even done this drink just shaken and it tasted just fine. Whatever way you mix this, you want to use less ice and aim for dissolving all of it. As too much ice left in the tin will grab onto that foam and prevent you from experiencing a truly fluffy drink. Start in your large tin with two dashes of Angostura bitters, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of coconut milk, one ounce of a banana liqueur, ounces of cachaça. I'm going to add in about two to three ounces of nugget ice and I'm going to blend this for 10 to 15 seconds. But the length of blending it is kind of up to your blender. You want to make sure that this ice is totally dissolved. Now that the ice is dissolved, just strain this into your coop with no garnish. And there you go, Dr. Barka's Fluffy Banana, a Smuggler's Cove original cocktail. All right, let's taste this drink. And I should note, um, I've had this drink probably five or six times in the last month trying to get it right. This is one of the best looking drinks that's come out of it. I've had some that had giant bubbles and some that had small, but uh, using the immersion blender here is gonna give you, I think a much um, more refined uh, foam on your drink. But even if you shake it with just your tin, um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be delicious. It has this dessert decadent thing going on here. That cachaça with the banana liqueur, they just work together extremely well. Um, and I've, I've said this here before, I don't love bananas, I like bananas fine, but that Gaffard banana liqueur, it's just like so clean and such like a wonderful sweetness to add to your cocktail instead of just using a simple syrup or you know other liqueurs that can kind of get that sort of cloying sweetness. Um, I find the banana one just to be like one of my favorite liqueurs, but um, used in small quantities or even up to an ounce, I think it works really well in, in these tropical drinks. And one more note on these ingredients here. My main criteria is always that I like to make and drink cocktails that are good. Uh, I don't wanna waste my time and energy and effort on shitty cocktails, but don't let perfect be the enemy of really good or even great. I'm not always gonna run out and buy a $50 bottle of cachaça to make one cocktail or wait until I can find the exact bottle in stock somewhere. It's okay to adapt, especially when we're aware that it's an adaptation. And this drink right here is a great example. Because over the last month, I've made this drink at least four or five times. And almost every time I use Nobufogo and I thought the drink was great. I think it even rivals the one with the avo cachaça. This provides a more sort of intense, uh, that grassy floral flavor that I really like in cachaça, where the avoir provides more of that subtle wood note you get from a barrel aged spirit. So if you have either of these at home, try to make this drink with what you have on hand first. And if you have neither, um, maybe try a more affordable bottle of cachaça uh, I happen to think there's nothing wrong with LeBlanc Cachaça. It was the first one that I ever got my hands on um, 15 years ago. And if you don't have Cachaça, you could try a rum agricole or even just a white rum. 
mixing with the banana liqueur and the Angostura bitters and the coconut cream will give you a really good idea of the potential of this drink. And out of all of the new drinks I've had in the last you know, four or five months, this is one of my favorites. And I think that if you like cachaça and if you even just kind of like banana, you're gonna really enjoy this take on this new Smuggler's Cove original cocktail. That's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Make and Drink. And if you enjoyed the video and you wanna help out this channel, Give the video a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to watch more cocktail videos, check out these ones right here. See you on the next one.